Welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Before we read today's Gospel, let's pray for understanding with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy Gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments the trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, then all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. Now today's Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 13, verses 18 through 29. He said, therefore, what is the kingdom of God like, and to what shall I compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his garden, and it grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And again he said, to what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of flour, till it was all leaven. He went on his way through towns and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. And someone said to him, Lord, will those who are saved be few? And he said to them, Strive to enter by the narrow door, for many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the householder is risen up and shut the door, you will begin to stand outside and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, open to us, and he will answer you. I do not know where you come from. Then you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I do not know where you come from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There you will weep and gnash your teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. And men will come from east and west and from north and south, and set a table in the kingdom of God. The Word of God. St. Cyril of Alexandria says, The kingdom of God is the gospel, through which we gain the power of reigning with Christ. As then the mustard seed is surpassed in size by seeds of other herbs, yet so increases as to become the shelter of many birds. So also the life-giving doctrine was at first in the possession only of a few, but afterwards spread itself abroad. St. Cyril. St. Cyril is telling us that the kingdom of God, that is, the gospel of our Lord, was known to only a few people. But like the very small mustard seed that was planted and became a flowering tree, the gospel became known to the world and provides shelter for all of us. Our faith can also be seen as a mustard seed. Though small at first, if nurtured, our faith can grow into something that is truly miraculous. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.